Hey guys, it's been a while since we've done a vinyasa class and it was kind of calling my name today. So let's go ahead and start on our mats for this little mini vinyasa class for space and for strength. All right, let's get started at the top of our mats. Coming into a yogi squat, such a nice place to start to really just kind of come in tune with the body, opening up the hips nice and gently. I want your ankles to be nice and grounded as the heels come in and the toes point out. So really balance right through the center of your ankles. Try not to dump into the pinky toe side or the big toe side. You want to feel as balanced as you're able. Lift your heart up nice and tall along with your pelvic floor. Maybe close your eyes. Set an intention for your practice before we begin. And with a big breath in through the nose, open your mouth and let it go. A little gentle smile. And here we go. So go ahead and bring the right hand to the left knee as you have a big side stretch through the left side of the body, really reaching through that left hand. Mm, nice and good through the side ribs. Inhaling through center and switch sides, right hand to the, I'm sorry, left hand to the right knee. Reach that right arm up and over. Mm, big stretch. Inhaling back through center. Bringing your hands back to your heart, pushing your knees open a little bit wider. Very good. And then as you exhale, lift your hips and straighten out your feet a little forward fold before we start moving more. Pedaling through the feet, letting the crown of the head hang heavy. Just working out any tension or kinks that could be through the neck or through the upper back. Planting your hands, inhaling that halfway lift, lengthening your spine, pulling your low belly in. Let's step back, top of the push up, get really strong here. So let's start to feel that strength through the arms, through the hands, through that upper body, even through the lower really as you're pulling all those muscles in towards the bones, shifting forward onto the toes and not back into the heels. Low belly pulls towards the spine. Nice and slowly, let's lower down, chaturanga elbows in, pause at the bottom, hold and breathe. And then inhale, shifting forward to your up dog, really long, strong legs on the tops of the toes, glutes are squeezing, and exhale, roll right over your toes, downward facing dog. A little sway through the hips. A little pedaling through the legs. Let's take a little bit of a squat here. So bend the knees, very wide, kind of sitting down, stretching out the shoulders, opening up the armpits. Inhale, lift the hips again. Let's do that twice more. Exhale, squat, open the knees, drop the hips, reach. Inhale, lift. And one more time, squatting down. Maybe resting all the way in a child's pose if that feels good to you. And as you're ready, inhale, straightening the legs, lifting the hips back to that downward facing bone. Bringing the feet together at the back of your mat. Anchoring down at the base of the thumb, the heel of your hand. Inhale, lift that right leg up high. Pointing your toe, get really, really long. Exhale, squeeze that knee in towards your belly, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up again. Exhale, shift forward, pull that right knee in and then step it up. Stand the balls of the back toes, left hand down, right arm reaches as we find this dragonfly twist. Looking up towards that top hand, really feeling the twist through the spine. Very nice, now lift that left hand up, bring your hands to your heart, keep twisting. Use the strength of your arms to push your knee away very good. Shifting forward on those back toes, not into the heel. Nice. And then left hand back down, kitty corner to the big toe. We're going to find half moon, a revolved half moon. So shifting forward, right foot, left hand, flexing those left toes down, dropping that hip into place. Find that, uh, in that revolved half moon here as you reach your right hand nice and high. And then let's switch that. Regular half moon, right hand down. Left arm reaches. Woo. Let's go with those wobbles. 
Very good. And then step that left foot back as you bend the right knee. Find your warrior two as you open the arms up. Shoulders away from the ears. Spine is nice and long, neutral, not reaching in either direction. Rolling this right knee open high on the inner groin. Very nice. Now bring the arms up and overhead as they touch palms. Bending that left knee deeply, that skandhasana, that ninja pose, all the way at the back of your mat. Now if you need your hands, no worries. But if you can bring them to your heart, working on your balance a little bit, that's always nice. Now let's shift all the way to the back of our mat as we find this low lizard lunge, turning towards the back. Left knee is still bent, bringing the elbows or maybe just the hands down on the inside of that left foot. Very good. You can drop that back knee if you need to, or keep it lifted. Breathing, really sinking into that left hip. Soften the muscles of your jaw and in your hips. Very good. Coming back onto the hands, let's find that side plank on the right side. So round on through that right hand, lift the left, step that left foot back, right on top of the right. Maybe we can lift that left leg, find a bit of a star shape if you'd like. And let's vinyasa from here. Left hand down, maybe left leg stays reaching, and elbows in as you chaturanga. Inhale, peel your heart open, squeeze your butt. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. Take a breath. And we move into the second side. So bring the feet together. And as you inhale, lift those left toes up. Let's squeeze it in first. So left knee in towards your belly. Squeeze it in, knee to nose. Push the floor away. Inhale, find that length again. Exhale, squeeze it in and step it up. We're going to find that dragonfly twist. So right hand down, left arm reaches. Looking up towards that top hand, if that's okay, on your neck. And then strong legs as you bring your right hand up to your knee and find that prayer twist. Gently looking up, squeezing your legs towards each other. Very nice. And then right hand down, kitty corner of the left big toe. We're going to find that revolved half moon. Big shift forward. Find the balance. Left arm reaches as with the right leg. Drop that right hip into place. Point the toes down. Woo. Squeeze the legs towards each other. Lift your heart. Now let's, now let's twist it. Left hand down. Right arm reaches in that regular half moon pose. Ardha Chandrasana. Feeling tall all the way through the spine, right up through the crown of the head. All right, then big step back as we bend the left knee. Open up to your warrior two. Adjusting your feet if you need. Arms are open wide. Roll that left knee open from high on that inner groin. Lift your pelvic floor, belly pulls in nicely. Glue your fingers together as you gently look over those left fingertips, very nice. And then as you inhale, straighten that left leg, palms touch over the head, right knee bends deeply, skandhasana, right side. It's feeling lifted. Standing right on the center of that right ankle if possible. And if you have to come up onto the toes, that's okay too. Fingertips if needed. And we're going to turn to the front of our mat, back into that low lizard lunge, maybe on the elbows, maybe on the hands. Make sure that you're keeping that right knee squeezing in towards your right shoulder. Don't want to flare out to the side too much. Just sink into those hips. Notice what you're feeling here compared to the first side. Very good. And then we're going to come back onto the hands. Left hand stays down. We're going to find that side plank. Step that right foot back. Right hand reaches to the sky. Or maybe you keep that star shape if that feels strong and good to you. And then hands down. And let's vinyasa. Right leg can lift if you'd like. Elbows in. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhaling. Downward facing dog. Let's move through this a little bit quicker now. Feet together at the back of your mat, right side. Inhale, right leg reaches. Exhale, squeeze it in, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it up again, find length. Exhale, squeeze it, step it up. 
dragonfly twist, left hand down, right arm reaches up high. Then hands to the heart, left hand reaches up. Find that prayer twist. Shift forward onto the balls of those toes, very nice. And then find that revolved half moon, left hand down, shift forward and float a little here, right arm up, strong on that right leg. And then find your half moon as the right hand comes down and the left arm reaches up. Maybe you can even challenge yourself by hovering that right hand. Very good, bend that right knee, find warrior two as you step back and arms lift. Lift your heart, pull your belly in. Strong legs here, guys. Arms up and over as we bend that left knee. Skandasana on the left side. A resting breath, and then we turn to the back of the mat. Low lizard lunge. Left knee is bent. Maybe the right knee is still lifted or it's dropped to really sink in there deep. Up to you. Squeeze that left knee in. Sink deeply into that left hip. Nice stretch for those right hip flexors. And then coming back onto the hands, if you're not already there, let's shift to that right side plank. Left arm reaches high, left leg steps back nice and smooth. I'm gonna lift it up, find that star shape, feeling strong, pushing on those back muscles. And let's vinyasa, left leg stays lifted if you'd like. Elbows in as you vinyasa. Lift your heart, and then lift your hips back and downward facing dog. And second side, feet come together. Inhaling, lift that left leg. Exhale, squeeze one time, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze and step it up, dragonfly twist. Right hand down, left arm reaches. And find your prayer twist. Right hand joins left at your heart as you roll open. Strong legs. Now right hand down, find that revolved half moon. Tricky posture, so stay with it. And then half moon as the left hand comes down and the right arm reaches up high. Long through the spine, strong through the legs. Bend that left knee and step back, warrior two. Arms open up to that T. Settling in just for a breath, and then straightening the left leg, ninja, skandasana on the right side. Maybe challenge your balance up on your tippy toes. Soften your shoulders. Now turn to the front of your mat, low lizard lunge, either on the elbows or on the hands, sinking in a little deeper each time we come here. Back onto the hands. Step that right foot back, right arm reaches high. Side plank, Vashistasana. Maybe looking up towards that top hand to challenge things. And then let's vinyasa, right leg lifted if you'd like. Inhaling to your up dog, exhaling into your down dog. Let's go through that one more time. Right leg up, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, step it up and twist. Dragonfly, right hand reaches. Left hand joins right, prayer twist. And then that revolved half moon, left hand down, right arm floats up. And regular half moon as we switch it, right hand down, left arm floats. Nice and controlled into our warrior two, reaching in both directions. Arms up and over as we skandasana to the left side. Half a breath and then turn to the back of the mat, low lizard lunge. Settling in for just a moment and then back onto the hand, side plank. Your variation, maybe that star shape, maybe we stack the legs and let's vinyasa, elbows in, gaze is forward. Inhale, upward facing, exhaling, downward facing. And left side, reach that left leg high. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze and step up. Find that twist. Right hand joins left, prayer twist. Open your heart. Right hand down, 
revolved half moon, and then half moon, left hand, down and right arm reaches, warrior two with control, bend that left knee, nice and slow, arms open, arms up and over, now we bend that right knee, ninja back to the front, turning all the way, right knee bends, low lizard lunge, Back to the hands and your side plank, left side. And let's vinyasa, elbows in, gaze forward. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Let's do it one more time. Feeling pretty good now, right leg up. Squeeze, inhale, lift. Squeeze, step it up, drag and fly twist. Reach that right hand high. Very nice, hands at the heart, find that twist. Left hand down, revolved half moon. Half moon, right hand down, left arm reaches. Step back, warrior two. Arms up and overhead, skandhasana out of the back. Hands come down, low lizard lunge, left knees bent deeply. Back to the hands, find that side plank, right side. Whoop. That happens, right? It happens. Left leg reaches as we vinyasa. Inhale, lift that heart, exhale. Lift those hips, second side, left leg reaches high. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze and step up, right hand down. Dragonfly twist. Right hand joins left, prayer twist. Right hand down, revolved half moon. Strong legs, drop that right foot so that you can flex it and feel strong. Left hand down, right arm reaches. Flexing the foot really helps find strength through the leg. Now bend that left knee, warrior two. Arms open to a T, arms up and overhead, skandhasana to the right. Lift your heart, turn to the back, low lizard lunge, right side. Sinking in a little more, feeling something new. Then back to the hands, left side on that plank, side plank. Your variation where you feel strong. And let's vinyasa, right leg reaches. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Very good. Let's find a little strength here in our downward facing dog. So now that we've gone through our vinyasa, we're pretty warm, we're feeling good, let's create a little bit of strength. Staying in your downward facing dog, hands are shoulders width, feet are hips width, get nice and balanced. Now let's see how it feels to bring that right hand back to the right leg. Maybe you can grab the calf, or maybe you'd like to reach that right arm around your low back. What I want you to feel though is that your hips are still just as balanced as they were when your right hand was down. So the hips are nice and neutral. We're super strong through that left arm, through the left upper back. Very good. Now maybe we find a little bit of balance See how it feels to walk that left leg away? Maybe float it a little bit. Maybe float it a lot. Lifting the left leg up as much as you can, really feeling balanced and strong. Maybe a little wobbly, that's okay. One more breath here. And let's lower that right hand and that left leg. Let's sway a little from side to side in our down dog. So let the hips drop to the right and then drop to the left. Very good. All right, now find that nice balanced spot again where the hands and the feet all carry equal length or weight, excuse me. And when you're balanced and the hips are neutral, start to lift that left arm back behind you, maybe grabbing the calf or behind the knee or maybe wrapping it around your low back. And just take a moment before we lift that right leg to feel strong and balanced here as well. Pressing out of that right shoulder, feeling those lats engaged, 
Little belly hollowing out. And nice and easy, start to walk that right foot away from you so that your left leg takes more of the weight and start to hover that right leg. How does that feel? Maybe it's super shaky. Maybe, maybe you're wobbling and falling. That's okay, I did too. We all do, that's how we get strong. We find the challenge and we hang out there. Reaching that right leg as much as you're able. One more breath. And exhale, both hands down and both feet down. Very good. Let's play a little bit more in this downward facing dog for a little more strength. So when we are on our hands, it's down dog. And when we are on our elbows, it's dolphin. Let's find something right in between. So as you squeeze the elbows towards each other, you start to drop them down, really bringing a lot of strength into the hands, into the lats. Only let the elbows go about halfway down to your dolphin. Squeeze them in towards each other. Feel your lats activate. Hold it for another breath. And inhale back to your downward facing dog. Let's do that two more times, finding what's called a turbo dog, or maybe a half down dog. All right, glancing forward a little bit, pressing into the heel of the hand, squeeze the elbows towards each other as you start to lower them down. When they feel like they're about to touch, stop, hold. Feel that strength that wraps around your shoulder blades. Very nice. One or two more breaths here, guys. Feel strong. You've got this. Inhale, right back, straightening those arms. Whew. And one more time, let's find that turbo dog. Let's find that inner strength. You have it in you. All right, glancing forward, elbows in. Lower them, lower them, and hold. And just hang out here, hang out with the shakes, hang out with the wobbles, hang out with any frustrations that may come up, and just notice these things. A few more breaths, and then we're gonna lower all the way into our dolphin pose. Last two, and last one. Gosh, good job, guys, that's so, so tough. Elbows down. You want to try to keep them in that same light as your shoulders and your hands. So we don't want the elbows to flare out. Let's walk the hips in as high as we're able to. So a very short dolphin pose and then bring the feet together. Let's reach that right leg high. Very good. Feel so strong, so lifted. Maybe raise up onto those left toes as you shift forward. Exhale, lower it back down. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, lift that right leg. Push onto the left toes. Exhale, lower it down once more. Inhale, lift. Maybe you float a little bit. Maybe not. And that forearm stand if that feels good. And then right leg down. Let's lower the knees. Stretch it out in child's pose for just a moment. I know that's a lot of strength, a lot of balance and work. You're doing so good. So good. Oh, wrong shirt today. All right, back onto the elbows. Squeezing them in towards each other. Don't let them flare out. We want them shoulders width. Tuck those toes, send the hips high. Let's go back to that dolphin pose. Now bring the feet together at the back of your mat. Walk them in a butt so that your hips are super high. Bring that right foot down, left foot reaches. Get super tall through that left leg. Let's rise up onto those right toes once. Heel down. And twice, lift through those left toes, push on those right, and lower back down. And one more time, find that three-legged dolphin. Inhale as you really lift, pull with those left toes, maybe a little float, maybe a little hop. What do you do here that makes you feel strong? And let's lower both legs down onto the knees. Drop the head, rest again in child's pose. Reaching the arms very far, get a good stretch through the upper back, through the lats. Very nice. Let's come all the way down onto our belly. So walking the legs away, very nice. 
Reach the arms up in front of you. Let's find just a couple of Shalabhasanas working that back side of the body as well. Toes are touching, maybe palms are touching or hands parallel. As you inhale, lift. Reach as tall as you're able. Squeezing everything towards that midline plane. Really get long, feel strong. One more big inhale, exhale, lower it down. Turn your head to the right. Big calm breath. And reaching back out again. So arms come up and overhead, palms touch maybe, big toes touch. Let's do this again. Inhale, lift, Shalabhasana, locust pose. Keep breathing. So when things get difficult, we don't hold our breath. We keep that breath smooth and steady. One more breath, get as tall as you're able. Lift those legs. Exhale, lower down. Turn the head to the left this time. Sink in. Very good. Inhale and come back to that neutral position. And here we go, one last time. As high as you're able, really feeling strong. Let's lift up, inhale. And let's breathe. In and out through the nose. Letting it roll over the back of your throat. Two more breaths here, you guys. You can do this. You can do hard things. And last one. Go ahead and stack the palms. Rest your third eye, your forehead. Just a breath. And then bringing the hands back by the sides, press into the knees. Let's sit back in Virasana. So if you're able to sit between the feet, even better. But if you can't sit between the feet, tops of the toes down, you can also bring the feet together and sit right up on your heels. So be where you need to be to feel that stretch. I feel a lot of it on my inner knee and up through my inner groin, and even a little bit past the knees. Now, stretching, uncomfortable, that's okay. You don't want to feel tearing, searing, any of that kind of stuff. So listen to your knees if they're talking to you and this isn't right for them. Close your eyes, drop your shoulders. Breathing in and out through the nose. Cultivating calm, strong, spacious energy. Very nice. Let's stretch out the legs a little bit more. So come onto the hands, tuck the toes and send the hips up just for a moment. We're gonna cross the ankles, crossing kind of more at the knees, I guess. Lower the knees back down. So I have my right knee in front of my left, toes pointing back, beginning to find this gamukasana, that cow face pose. So as you can see, I'll turn. My right knee is right on top of my left as best I can. Now that's not going to work for everybody and you may have your knees a little more like this and that's okay. Don't worry about it. But as you practice this more, stacking the knees, pointing the toes back. And then let's stretch out the shoulders as well. So lift the arms open to a T. Right arm goes up, left arm comes down. Maybe you can grab the fingers. Sitting up nice and tall if that's enough for you, or maybe if you'd like to fold over your legs. Be where you need to be, but soften your shoulders. Don't fight the spine. Just another breath or two, no rush. Exhaling, release the hands. Bring your hands down, kind of tucking your toes. We're going to twist to the left. Twisting all the way around so that now the left knee is on top of the right. So if that was a weird twist to you and you've not done that before, go ahead and come back into your Gomukhasana, your cow face. But this time, left knee on top, right knee on bottom. Toes point back as much as you're able. Breathing into your hips. Soften your jaw and your shoulders. Don't fight this. 
Arms open to that T again. This time right hand down, left arm reaches. Maybe this side is a little easier. Maybe it's a little tighter. Just noticing. Now if you can't quite catch the bind behind your back, you could always just grab the back of your shirt or you could use a strap. It's just accepting what is. Inhaling, lifting your heart, and maybe you'd like to fold over your legs, but if you don't want to, you can stay upright. Just listen to your shoulders, listen to your wrists, and be where they need you to be for now. And if you're folded, rising back up, and nice and easy, releasing that bind, bring your hands to the top of your mat, and just step your feet nice and easy back downward facing dog. Stretch out your shoulders once more. And then let's lower the knees down, coming into that tabletop position just for a moment. Let's walk the hands away. We're gonna come into a puppy pose. So dropping the chest, dropping the armpits down. Maybe you can rest on your chin or maybe your forehead, or maybe you can come all the way down onto your chest, up to you. You can stay here on your knees with your knees parallel, or you can tuck your toes and really lift your hips for a deeper puppy pose up to you. Be where you need to be. Breathing into whatever sensations you're feeling. Accept, let go. And nice and easy coming out of this puppy pose. Walk your knees away, coming all the way down onto the belly. And then bring your hands down by your sides. Press into your knees, press into your hands, tabletop position. Again, let's cross those ankles, sit back behind them, extend the legs straight out in front of you. A couple of easy forward folds, tuck the toes back towards the face, pull that low belly in, and then diving over the tops of your thighs, either grabbing your shins or the sides of your feet, really stretching out through the low back and the backs of the legs. And the seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Toes are flexing back. That way we engage the entire leg and not just the hamstrings. Very good. And then inhaling as you rise up. Let's come all the way down onto our back. Let's come into a, shell, or a supported shoulder stand. So Salamba Sarvangasana. As you are on your back, tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Legs come up and overhead just so that you can bring your hands to your low back. Bring the legs together, pointing the toes. Think about lengthening your torso and just resting on the backs of the shoulders and the back of the head. Leave lots of space for the neck and for the throat. Squeezing the legs together. Maybe a nice place to check off that yogi toe spread, stretching out your feet. One more breath here and we'll come into halasana, that plow pose. Reach into your toes, get tall. And exhale, toes come up and overhead for plow. I like to be on the tops of the toes, up to you though, you could tuck them. And you can either keep your hands at your low back or you can interlace your fingers and bring them down to the mat. Again, lengthen that torso. Space for the neck and for the throat. One more breath, and then exhale. Let's make our way into fish pose. So palms down as you roll out. You're going to sit under the tops of the hands. So glutes are right on the hands. Legs squeeze towards each other. Toes point. I'm resting on my elbows and my forearms. Open up your throat, open up your chest, drop your head back if that's okay, and find your fish pose, feeling radiant through your heart. Big breaths in through the nose. And nice and easy coming off of the hands, one side at a time, coming onto your back and any little postures that you'd like before you settle into stillness. So maybe we could do a little spinal twist or a happy baby pose, a couple of options, Vipurita Karani, 
Just squeezing the legs in, give yourself a hug. So moving intuitively, moving in a way that your body is calling out for you. After you've done whatever little movements that you need, making your way all the way down onto your back, resting the legs out in front of you, arms gently lying down by the sides. If that's what you like for your Shavasana, if you like to sit in a nice, easy, meditative position, please feel free to rest at the end in any way that calls out to you. And let your breath begin to soften. Your heart rate begin to slow. And you feel free to stay in this resting place as long as you need. Take your time, there is no rush. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope that little mini vinyasa really helped you feel strong and spacious and just a little bit more ready for the rest of your day or for bedtime. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> Lots of videos going up all the time. My name is Kelsey. I'm Kelsey Yogi here on YouTube and on Instagram, and I love practicing with you. Please let me know down in the comment section what you thought of this video. And if there's other videos that you'd really like to see up on the page, I definitely take those into consideration. That is it for today, guys. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.